Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Bashem Rakah Kodash. Double honor to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit, and Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Bashem Rakah Kodash, Brakah Thumb, to the elect of Israel that scattered across the four corners of the globe. Um, so what we're looking at here is an article from www.usatoday.com concerning um, the chariots of Israel, all right, the spiritual vehicles of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which is who people out there even we call God through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and that's who people out there even we call Jesus Christ. And um, as you can see, this article concerns what people ignorantly call UFOs, right, unidentified flying objects. And more importantly, identified, you know, to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Because basically, these are the vehicles of our salvation. Okay, so, you know, I'm just going to cover a little bit from this article. Hopefully, it's edifying unto you, brothers. Uh, pretty much, it's another sighting out there in Kansas City. Um, let's read it. It says, no explanation. Flying objects over Kansas City leave locals suspecting aliens. And this is pretty much, you know, Esau making a joke out of this whole sighting. Referring to um, the angels as being aliens, which, you know, in a way, they are they are aliens, you know, in, in the true sense of the word alien, because the word alien simply means stranger. And to the masses of people out there, the angels of the Lord are strangers, but, you know, they're brothers and uh, friends unto the, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. As it says in the book of Revelation 19, verse 10, you know, where you read about how, um, you know, the apostle John was on the island of Patmos and an angel appeared unto him. And the angel said that he's uh, his fellow, his fellow brethren. But, you know, when Esau, you know, is referring to aliens, he's speaking about what Esau has um, depicted in these movies. OK, you know, he's speaking about these characters here that you see on the screen, you know, which this is the furthest thing from the truth, because the angels don't look like this. You know, when you get into the scriptures, the angels actually look like so-called black men and they're very fierce and terrible looking, as a matter of fact. Um, when we go here to the book of Judges, what's that, I believe, the 13th chapter, and we read about, um, you know, Samson's mother and father, uh, I believe Samson's father was named Manoah, yep, here in the second verse, you read about Samson's um, father, but the point, I believe, is in verse, let me see, verse 6, if I'm not mistaken, yep, where um, Samson's mother recounts you know, the, the encounter that she had with the angel of Yahweh Bashem al This is Judges 13, verse 6. It says, Then the woman came and told her husband, Manoah, which is Samson's father, saying, A man of God came unto me, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of the Most High, Yahweh, very terrible, right? And that's the point. The angels look very fierce looking, very terrible looking. As a matter of fact, when we go here to um, the Hebrew word for terrible, uh, the word in the Hebrew is Yara, right? You've got a Ya, a Ra, and a A at the end. And it's pronounced Yara, which means fearful or to be afraid, okay? Yep, it says to fear, revere, be afraid, uh, to be in awe. It says to fear, reverence, dreadful, okay? So the angels look very dreadful looking. Like I said, the angels look like so-called black men. You know, you can go to the book of Ezekiel. The first chapter, you know, I read about, you know, what the angels look like there too. But the point is, is that the angels don't look like this. You know, this is just Esau being the devil, you know, deceiving the masses of people, which that's his job. You know, that's his job to do. And, you know, this is why those of us that have this truth, we don't bug out, you know, when we see these chariots. Or even if we was to see an angel of the Lord, you know, I mean, it would be fearful. But nevertheless, we wouldn't bug out because we have this truth, right? We have the true understanding of the scriptures, you know, of the, of the Holy Spirit. So those of us that actually have the truth, you know, the, the true understanding of the scriptures of Yahweh Bashma Shai, you know, we're blessed. But unto these other people that don't have, you know, the understanding, you know, this is actually a curse. As a matter of fact, when we go um here to the book of Zechariah, let's get that real quick. Zechariah, the fifth chapter, we'll get the true understanding of, you know, what these spiritual vehicles of our Lord are all about. Okay, what people out there ignorantly call UFOs. So this is Zechariah 5 verse 1. It says, Then I turned 
And this is a vision that the prophet Zechariah saw in the days of old, right, concerning the, the spiritual vehicles of Yahweh Bashmah Shai. You know, this is what he saw. It says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Okay, so this flying roll that he's seen is what people call UFOs, all right? This is basically what um, the, the prophet Zechariah saw in the days of old. And he described it as being a flying roll. Okay, it says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So the prophet Zechariah is basically describing, um, you know, the measurements of the vehicle that he saw, right? The, the chariot, verse 3. It says, then said he unto me, this is the curse, right? This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And who stole the so-called Negroes from, from Europe and the west coast of Africa and brought them on cargo slave ships to the Americas, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And who stole this land, the land of America, from so-called Native Americans, so-called Seminole Indians, which are the Israelites, right, of the tribe of Gad and Reuben, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, stole this land, right? So this is speaking about a curse that's going to fall upon the Edomites, you so-called white people. These chariots that you're seeing in the skies are a curse upon you, man. Right, it says, for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And who has you swearing on the Holy Bible when you go into his court system? Esau, Edom. All right, so this is actually a curse, you know, onto these Edomites, man. But the thing is, they don't look at it as a curse. Like I said, you know, this whole thing is a joke unto Esau, Edom. But in that day, they're going to mourn, right? Which, you know, I might get that scripture too in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. But anyway, moving on in the article, as you can see here, they got a video of the chariot, which, you know, in the interest of time, I'm just going to skip over for now. You know, Lord willing, I'll remember to leave the link of this article in the description box. But you brothers can watch this video in your own leisure time. It says, flying objects over Kansas City on Thursday night sparked the interest of locals and for a while had stumped people looking for answers. Right now, that word stumped basically means to be perplexed. As a matter of fact, you know, I've got Google here. Let's just look up that word stumped. I know what it means, but we'll just get, you know, the definition here from Google. I'm sure it means confused. Let's see here. Yep, this is the word stump. And this is the definition. It says, be too hard for, baffle, <laughs> um, perplex, puzzle, confuse, confound, bewilder, mystify. Okay, so in other words... You know, these people are confused, perplexed at these sightings, okay? And that's why it says this here, when we go to the book of, um, what's that, Daniel. Let's get this real quick, the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, well, Daniel 12 and 10. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried. And this is speaking about the elect, right? Beginning with the, the servants, the governing body of the nation of Israel, the 144,000 servants that you read about in the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, you know, the, the prophets, the teachers, um, you know, those of us that go out there on the highways and byways, out there on the street corners and prophesy against Esau, Edom, right, the so-called white man, prophesy against Babylon the Great, which is America, prophesy against the wicked of our people, right, the wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, wicked Israelites, this is speaking about us, right? Beginning with the apostles and the elders and the men of Great Millstone. You know, Lord willing, we be those men that are deemed worthy to be delivered in these last days. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, meaning tested. Because we're all going to be faced with that test, right? The hour of temptation, Revelation 3 verse 10. You know, when Esau basically makes the implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, when he makes it mandatory, you know, we're all going to be tried and tested. You know, even the, the hopeful elect. It says, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And we understand that the wicked is speaking about first and foremost, Esau, Edom. Okay, Malachi 1 verse 4. And the wicked is also speaking about wicked Israelites, right? Jeremiah 5 verse 28 and verse 29. It says, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. All right, so, you know, these wicked people that are seen, you know, these spiritual vehicles, the, the heavenly vehicles of Yahweh, Shai, 
as, you, as it says here, they're stumped, right? There are people that are stumped looking for answers. And that's why it says this, okay? Daniel 12, verse 10 again. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked, which is everyone outside of this understanding of Yahweh Bashma Shai, outside of the understanding of these scriptures, the true understanding, it says, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Who's the wise? Well, let's get this here in the book of Romans. Romans 11. Because the wise is speaking about the election, the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Not every so-called black, Latino, or Native American man, or woman for that matter, all right, who are Israelites, you know, by true nationality, Primarily over here in America, all right, which are collectively known as the two-third, pursuant to Zechariah 13, verse 8, that have not obtained this truth. But it says, but the election have obtained it, all right? So the election have obtained the truth, the mysteries of Yahweh Bashman Asher. And one of his many mysteries, you know, is going into, you know, his spiritual vehicles and the angels that actually ride in these vehicles, okay? And this is how our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to return, okay? As a matter of fact, let's quickly get that in the book of Matthew. Give me a second. This is Matthew 24. And the point is in verse 30. This is going into the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai, who people out there even call Jesus Christ, which is a so called black man, okay, with white woolly hair, pursuing to um, Revelation 1, verse 13. It says, And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Okay, so in that day, like I said, it's not going to be so funny unto these people. Okay, they're going to see our Lord Yahweh Shai coming in great glory with the holy angels. It says, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And our Lord is going to come back with a host of angels. As a matter of fact, let's quickly get that in the book of um, Psalms 68 verse 17. This is Psalm 68, verse 17. It says, The chariots of the Most High, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, are 20,000, even thousands of angels. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. All right? So, you know, that's how our Lord's going to return, man, with a host of angels. And in that day, it's going to be a very fearful sight. And people aren't going to be, you know, laughing and giggling in that day. You know, they're going to be stumped, perplexed. <laughs> all right? So, moving on, it says, KMBC9 in Kansas City, which I'm sure is a news station out there, said on Twitter it had fielded several calls regarding two strange orbs floating over Kansas City International Airport. Right, and us brothers have seen this, you know, many times over the camps, you know, when the, the angels, the chariots of the Lord fly over us, you know, we rejoice, you know, we rejoice at this sight. You know, as a matter of fact, that reminds me of um, what it says here um, in the book of Jeremiah. Because our people, we're not supposed to be fearful when we see these sights, right? When we see the glory of Yahweh Bashman Shai. This is Jeremiah 10 verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word, and this is a commandment. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, speaketh unto you. And he's doing that by way of his servants, the prophets, begin with the apostles and the elders and the men of great millstone in these last days. It says, O house of Israel, Israel being our so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. Verse 2, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Okay, in other words, don't be dismayed at what you see in the heavens, in the clouds. Okay, such as these chariots, the vehicles of the angels, the vehicles of Yahweh Bashmah Asher. Right, this is actually a commandment. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, because the heathen, beginning with Esau, Edom, the so called white man, they're dismayed at these signs, man. Okay, they're perplexed at these signs, but we're not supposed to be perplexed. We're supposed to rejoice. It says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay, so there you have it. Um, now, you know, in the interest of time, I'm not going to read this whole article. I'm sure brothers have got the gist of what's going on here. Now, I just want to bring this out for the sake of edification, for the building of our ministry. You know, as you can see here, they got this, um, you know, this scene from Independence Day. And, you know, they got this scene from the scriptures, as a matter of fact. When we go here to the book of um, Revelation, the first chapter and the seventh verse, this is exactly where, you know, they got this scene, you know, 
because this is actually a scene from the, the, the movie Independence Day with um, Will Smith and that guy, um, what's his name, Jeff Gold, Goldblum, if I'm not mistaken. They got this scene from this scripture here. Revelation 1 verse 7, which is a vision that the Apostle John saw on the Isle of Patmos 2,000 years ago of our Lord returning with the holy angels in what people ignorantly call UFOs. So this is Revelation 1 verse 7. It says, Behold, meaning look, he, the he being Yahweh Shai, cometh with clouds. Okay, so this is speaking about Yahweh Shai with the holy angels coming, right, returning back to earth in what people ignorantly call UFOs. The chariots and spiritual vehicles of Yahweh Bashma Shai and his people. The Israelites, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. Like I said, you know, they got this movie scene from the Holy Bible, okay, from Revelation 1 verse 7. And every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him. And this is where you get the, the subject matter and the topic of reincarnation because reincarnation is in the Bible. Okay, and it's one of the many mysteries of Yahweh Bashem HaShai. Because the ones that pierced our Lord and Savior Yahweh HaShai over 2,000 years ago, were these Edomites, okay? Back then, they were calling themselves Romans. And they're back here in the reincarnation today, right? Those those soldiers or those Roman centurions. And they're also going to behold our Lord's return, okay? In that day. It says, and they also which pierced him. It says, and all kindreds, meaning all families, all nations of the earth shall wail because of him. Yeah, because of our Lord's return, okay? When he comes back with the holy angels in what they ignorantly call UFOs, okay? So all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Vakar Kodash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Grey Millstone, the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Vakar Kodash, Dr. Thumb, to the elect of Israel, fellow one.